Oh. Look at that. Oh my. <laughs> yes. Perfect. I'm having so much fun right now. Welcome back to another GM Golf video. Today, we're doing something a little different. Based off the title of the video, you guys probably already know what we're gonna be doing in today's video. We're going to be creating a floating golf green and putting it in the backyard pool and playing a little round of golf in the Good Good House. Again, if you guys haven't watched the last Good Good House golf video, you guys should check it out. You guys kind of blew that video up and, and you liked it, so I appreciate that. We got taken today's video. We got Bubby back there again. How you doing? We're starting off today's video by going to Lowe's and we're gonna try and cop some sort of putting green type material, whether it be just like a golf mat or just like the outdoor turf. Um, and then we're gonna figure out a way to make this thing float. And then we're gonna do some cool challenges to a floating green. I'm just going through in my head how we're gonna construct this thing. I think me and Bobby got a pretty good idea of what we're gonna do. I think we're gonna use PVC pipe, probably like eight inch PVC pipe. PVC pipe. PVC pipe. And then we're just gonna figure out how to uh, attach the uh, putting carpet to it and then we're gonna have floating green it's plain and simple like Micah just said PVC pipe maybe some 90 degree angle joints if you want it to be square 45 degrees if you want it to be octagonal I believe that's the correct word there learn that in geometry let's get to it look at this yes yeah. oh <laughs> but we get a few in there <laughs> I got it. <laughs> we're gonna do a five by five putting green, floating putting green. So we're gonna get 144 square feet of this turf. Wow. That's good math right there. I like that, I like that. And we're gonna get somebody to help us get that, but we're gonna make our way to the PVC because we gotta find that. For the people at home in it past math class, that's 12 feet by 12 feet. <laughs> that's what we're getting. Another reason we are getting the 12 by 12 is since we're doing five foot by five foot, it gives us leeway to make a mistake and not have to come back again. Yeah, then we start over because- Exactly. exactly. Dude, yes. All right, guys, we got PVC pipe, two 10 footers, so we're gonna cut them in half, put 90 degree angles on all the ends, connect them, and make a freaking green. Look at this. We think Bubby found the 90 degree where it just fits perfectly in the let's hole. Let's test, let's test. Oh, Money. and it fits perfect. And then we're buying sealant on that? Yes, sir. Glue, we're gonna glue this to this so it's waterproof, so that way it stays floatable, okay? This is, this is gonna turn out we're, so good. We're gonna have 17 of TPC in the backyard, boys. I mean, literally, it's the yeah. 17 of good, good. Okay, we actually changed strategies. Instead of going with this, we found some pre-made turf that was already perfect and 22 bucks. So we decided to get two of them just in case we mess up. Now what I'm gonna do with those is gonna blow your mind. We're good. Don't try this at home. Ooh, Ooh. first try. And we're back, folks. <laughs> Trying not uh. to break anything on our way through the, oh my, broke my face almost. Here we go, here we go. This is gonna be an intense project to say the least. Guys, I'm thinking we put the floating green right in here and it's just kind of a dialed in momentum. Also, I think Alex Barrick, if you guys know who he is on YouTube, he's like filming a video out here where he's like making a little fish pond or something. That should be interesting. We got a, a, a pool, a hot tub, and then another pool. All right, guys. So, Garrett just dropped over $200 to create this piece of content to build this putting green for us and for you guys. So you can take is, your mask off now, by the there way. Go, there. This back. is the point in the video where you know y'all need that reminder. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Drop a comment. We appreciate y'all. Thank I, you. I agree with Bubby. If you guys want to hit the like button, it would be much appreciated. Building green back here tomorrow. You are? Oh, we're gonna have it. Dude, it's gonna be the whole house is gonna be golf. Dude, what? So we're gonna better? have two putting greens. What's better than a house with one putting green? A house with two putting greens. Yes, sir. <laughs> all the pipes have been cut. It's time to construct the rest of this green. I got all the pipes cut. And now I'm using the pipe primer and pipe glue to glue the 90s on. Tig's been grinding away. I've been on some phone calls trying to help them here and there. But let's give the people what they want to see. Okay, we're gonna give you guys some engineering background as to how this green is going to work. Right now we have all the PVC pipes in a square. It is currently a five by five by five by five by five by five by five five. And what Tig is doing here is he's putting a ratchet strap in between for support for this green once we lay it out on the water so it doesn't sag down and make it into a funnel. I mean, that's genius right there. That's called thinking ahead. Dude, this is dope. We're gonna take a quick test and see if this thing floats. Let's throw it in the pond. Dude, watch it just sink straight to the bottom. It's definitely not gonna sink. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Look at that. Oh my, ah, yes. It's literally perfect. Dude, it's gonna be floating above the water and we're gonna, dude. This is dope. This is talking like homemade crap. Guys, if we can get this to 
35 million likes. No, actually, okay, the last like crazy video was over 40,000 likes. It's the most liked video on this channel. For this craziness in the good, good house, I don't know, it's just 30K, okay, insane, because what? <laughs> We're actually doing it. I thought it was gonna like work kind of decently, but this is way better than I ever expected. Here's the other thing. You guys are the people who make these videos possible. When you guys watch these videos, share, comment, buy the merch, that's what supports us to spend the money to make these types of videos, so I really appreciate that. If you wanna hit the subscribe button, it would be very much appreciated because it goes such a long way on the channel. Let's go. All right, another intermission. Guys, little tutorial. We're forming some sort of a loop with some holes there. We're gonna do the same thing on this side and then a ratchet strap to pull them together. Guys, I mean, right now, you are learning how to build a floating putting green. Like, this is your tutorial. You just need three and four of these PVC pipes, and you need some, like, things that make it turn into a square, and you need, like, this, four ratchet straps, a bunch of slip ties, or whatever they're called, and then you're good. You're good to go after that. So, I mean, this is just, this is so cool. And this is all for $167. I mean, Tig's basically built this whole thing, but take a closer listen as to what's going on. We got the first ratchet straps, now we got the second ratchet straps as a cross beam. I mean, this is insane. Plan here is to use the solo cup and make the hole slightly smaller than the solo cup so we can push it down and it holds it like a little suction cup. All right, so Tig's just gonna trace the size of the cup. We might not end up using a cup um, just so it's kind of easier. Guys, would you look at this? Only problem is the lip will hover, but I mean, that's pretty good. And it won't roll in though. You think so? It might, I, we could try it. Let's try it. Like once we, we'll hit a couple balls. Or we'll duct tape it to the bottom so it's under the surface. All right, guys, we've finished the green, and we've elected to go with no cup. I think it's just going to be a smarter play um, for the challenge. I don't know. I, I just think it'll be more smooth. So we're going to put it in the deepest side of the pool right here. And I think we're just going to go ahead and dial it in, guys. <laughs> that is so perfect. Oh, my gosh, guys. Wow. Holy yes. Guys, this is the finished product of the floating putting green. Okay, the video's not over. This is the thing, the video's not over. It's not just making this floating putting green. We're gonna do a bunch of different challenges. Here in about 15 seconds, we're gonna dial it in. We're gonna see if we can do like hole in one challenge, close to the pin, stuff like that. It's gonna be fun. Let's freaking go. And right now, Tig and I are gonna dive into our first challenge. First off, I think we're gonna play some horse, which the rules are gonna be very simple. It's literally just closest to the pin doesn't get a letter. The person who's not close to the pin gets a letter. First one to HORSE loses. Who is going to pick the first hole? That is the real question. All right, pin flip. The pointy end, whoever it's facing gets to pick the first hole. So I get to pick the first hole. We're gonna start with something light to see if we can even keep it on the green. So here's the rules. You have to hit the green to even be qualified for the challenge. So for example, if Mike and I both hit a shot and we both miss the green, then we have to re-hit the shot, go back through round two, basically until somebody hits the green and close to the pin wins. So the first hole I'm gonna do from right here to that green right there. This is 17 at TPC, but good, good. Well, this is awkward. That's happened so many times, guys. It's unreal. This is the first test of the green. This is probably gonna help our game, too. It's kind of moving a little bit. And he comes up short in the water, so I have a good chance here. Dude, so here's the other thing. I think the ball's gonna stop dead when it lands. I think it is, too. So I, I think we're gonna be able to keep him on the green. You have to hit the green. Oh! We're gonna have to hit some floppers. I think it's like it will spin though. So if you land it at the front, it'll stop. I, I think we also might have to switch up and use ping pong balls if we need to. Maybe. Which is like more of a full swing, which could be really fun. Yeah. We're gonna see, this is, that was our first shot to hit at it. So I think once we get the, kind of what we gotta do down, as far as be able to keep it on. No, <laughs> He comes up too short. We have yet to hit the green through two shots. Take up here next. Oh, it doesn't spin at all. We might need to switch to ping pong balls. We have a bunch. The ping pong strategy might be the play. Because they will spin. Yeah, I mean, they'll stop dead. Let's, let's try them. Let's try ping pong let's balls. Obviously, the foam balls do not work. So we're on to ping pong balls. We've not hit the green yet. We're not starting over, but we're kind of starting over with a ping pong ball. See if we can get this. Oh, boy. oh. dude, that's going to be money. <laughs> I think they're actually going to spin. We, we might make one. Dude, you hit that hard. Yeah, you kind of have to hit it. Decently hard with a ping pong ball. Take up here next. Oh, and he's done it. Oh, we still haven't hit the green. It is I think we're, it's just going to take us a little bit to get used to it because it's, a, I mean, five by five. It's, it's not a big green. It's not a big green. Garrett. Oh, 
my. It just leans on the corner. Dude, if you... I can just make this, I'll be we get on to the next one. Okay, so maybe instead of horse, we need to do closest person to the pin wins. Go! There we go. First one on the green, I have a letter. I'm currently at H. It works good, you just have to land it on it. You have to be accurate. So, I mean, that's good. It's good practice for your game. Tig picks hole number two. All right, Tig is picking from all the way back here to right there. Not quite as far, but we got to look. It's kind of just looking a little bit funnier. I think it might be about the same distance. Let's see. Eric. Oh, it needed to go. It's good all chance about for the carry. Yeah. If you land it on the green, it's going to stay on, but it's just a matter of landing it on the green. So, Captain Obvious there. This is a tough shot. Wow. Foam balls will. We've yet to get somebody to have I mean, a letter. You just got to hit it hard, but for some reason it feels weird to hit it that hard. But I'm pretty sure Garrett's going to take a whack at this one. No! <laughs> it spun back. It hit the lip. No! <laughs> Guys, I was right at it. Oh, and he's done it. Okay, so that's the shot to beat. Since Tig went first, I still get a chance. So he can still have a chance. I'm about 12 inches there. I mean, it's possible. All you gotta do is land it on it. I think he's done it. No, it oh. lipped out! It lipped yes. out! It literally lived, spun back and lipped Dude, out. So that was awesome. That is such a cool feeling. So I'm currently at H. Tig is at H. That was clutch. I needed to beat that. Tiny, tiny. And he did. Look at that. We're just getting the hang of it. That's all yeah. it is. That would have been the if first. If you make goal. it, do you get to give a letter? So it's like double the action. So Garrett know. gets to pick the next. We're just switching off. So we've done some pretty hard holes, right? But we're gonna keep it super Ooh. simple. Eight, ten feet here. Which sometimes makes it tricky, actually. Just a little chip, but this is a matter of getting it to who can make it. Oh, look how true it rolls. Tay has to beat that five-inch mark right there. Can he do it? Oh, and he's not done it. Tig is currently at H-O. I'm at H. I get to pick since I won the hole. All right, Garrett is taking this over towards the hot tub. No way. He's going from an elevated tee box. Garrett's going first. Takes it upstairs and it's gonna come up Ooh. a little bit long right there. Hey, ha, I got a chance. Guys, this is this is fun. I, I'm like, this is like the best backyard game you could ever have. It seriously is like, this is gonna be something we're gonna do when not even playing. Yeah, we're gonna make another video after this, part two. I like it. Oh my god. It didn't goodness. spin. There was no spin. I thought that was perfect. It's open. Garrett can put the pressure on me right here. I'm gonna try and fade this one in there. No! And it just creeps off no! the back edge. You are kidding. That was... Uh, Dad, go it. I hit first, too, so... If Tig hits it on the green, he wins. He gets to HO to HO. Go. Oh. Dude, this is a tough one. This is a tough hole. I think there's a little bit of wind up there that when you hit it above that fence, it's a little bit of a breeze. All right, Gosh, this is intense. Oh, I think he's done it. Oh, I've done it. And he spins it back a little bit to right. Dude. I mean, I gotta beat a flick. Guys, if you have not liked this video, I mean, this is the... <laughs> I'm having so much fun right now doing this. Needs to hit it within a foot. Did he do it? Oh. That's literally... Wait, balls are touching. I know, let's, but mine let's is go, closer. Hold on, let's mine take a look closer. behind. Tig might be closer. I think he probably is. I don't know from this angle. Look at this though. Oh yeah, I mean, if you go straight from the tee box, which is where you have to angle Yeah. It, I mean, my ball is like sitting a centimeter inside A hair inside closer. Because if you go from the tee box right there, that's insane. What? That is clutch. That's the second time one of us has been super clutch. Okay, so we're currently both at HO. <laughs> this is so much fun. All square HO onto the fifth hole of the day. All right, Tig is moving the green. He's going from here, and I think he's trying to move the green to over there. Dude, this is crazy. This is insane. This is like number six at Purcell Farm. Straight downhill, super elevated. Gotta calculate for the F elevation. Here we go, guys. Down the hill, closest to the pen. Let's see what he can do. Stay, stay. No way. Yes, way. So I got a chance here. It looks like you have to gauge the roll. You do. That really doesn't fun. really spin that much. And I thought it was gonna spin a little bit. So you gotta like flop it up there to avoid. You do, but you gotta watch the rock too right there. <laughs> and he just completely whiffs it. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Guys, these shots are tough. Oh. No, 
shot again. I mean, this is going to be one of the toughest shots we've had it all day. It is because we can't go much higher because of the rocks on the backswing. But the green is getting pushed a little bit by the water. That's Something's happening. You have to land it right on the front of the green. Oh, I think he takes it. Oh, oh my, you thought I hit I the was corner. For half a second, I was like, that is actually going to stay up. So I'm going second. So if I just hit it on the green when Tig doesn't, I win. Goodness. No way. Why is this so hard? It's even coming closer, too. God! It hit, almost spun and stayed on. This is not easy. No, 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 no. Oh! Oh! Ow! So if I make this, I... Yeah, gosh. you can put me to sleep here. I gotta get him to H-O-R. This would be so clutch. Go! Oh my gosh, it's it stays closer. on. So, well, you, you made it. Oh yeah, I won. So I made Joe R. So Garrett gets to pick now. All right, Garrett's moved the green back out into the center of the pool. We cleared it off, as you can tell, because we need more balls. We're going to do a simple shot. It's, this is basically like a three-pointer in basketball. Right. So this is kind of like one of them 160 par threes. It's just perfect distance. and But it's weird looking at it from down here now. Yeah. It takes that H-O-R. This I'm at H-O. I need to get this one. It's a little into the breeze here. First shot on the green. Dude, we're, what? Get, we're getting the hang of it. Also, if you guys didn't notice, we took away the ping pong balls off the green. Tig needs to be clutch. He's going to be HOR. Oh, did he do it? Oh, no, just short. The sound of it hitting the water is so satisfying. Though. All right, Garrett's just moved it back. Green's in the same spot, but this is a par five. This is Guys, a this is a full swing drivable par four. It's going to be tough to even get it there with a ping pong ball, but I'm convinced we can. So it all comes down to this. If I win this hole, I win this challenge. I have to come in clutch here and hopefully he messes up. Full swing and it just gets so caught up in the wind. Dude, I don't know if we can get it there. We might need to gauge it to where it is a full swing. So we're going to see where Tig hits it and then move it up to where it's a full swing. Okay, I'd say we move it up four or five feet. Maybe. Not much more than that, because now you get to go first. Oh, and he takes it and slices it. Dude, that was perfect perfect distance. distance. Yes, now I know I can just go right at it. Gosh, take him. He can get it to HOR to HRS here if he does something crazy. No, it got caught oh. in the wind. It went too high. No way. Dang it. That is not good. I needed that. I had the prime opportunity and I just let it slide right through my fingertips. And he oh, goes left. left. But he's getting it there. I just got to do that. Dude, it's money distance though. I knew this was going to be a tough one because having a full swing of the ping pong ball, it's so tough to gauge. Oh, we did it. Yes, yes. Oh my, what a Had shot. Had a little bit of spin on it, threw out an anchor and stopped it right on the green. Gotta hit a draw. So here's here's the angle, folks. You can only see half the green from this position. I'm gonna record from over here. I mean, this is what it all comes down to, folks. Can you do it? No. Oh! That was a beautiful shot! It hit, it hit the PVC. Oh my gosh, that land. If it lands a foot farther, it's probably gonna stay on there with it. No, oh, the, the no, the green is getting moved. So Garrett's just gonna move his mat back a little bit to see half the green. And he's gotta hit a little hook shot right around the corner. Just a little bit short. Right, now we just leave it where it's at. It's not even a hook shot anymore. Cause the green's moving, but it's fair for both of us now. All right, guys, it comes down to this. I just laced it, well, laced it a little short there, folks. Oh my. The emotion, the raw so emotion. so bad right now. I need him to miss, and I think I can get it next time. But if he makes this, it's going to be very tough. No. And he had too much height on it, and he hit the gutter. <laughs> that was right at it. Dang it. Guys, hit a little too high. Got to play it down. That's the tough part about this shot. No, sit, sit, sit. Oh. Go in. Guys, that just needed a half a roll, and it's probably in the hole. That was so clutch. Landed on that ball. Okay, the last hole, and no matter what, this is the last hole because we were both we're tied. tied. What a clutch, clutch comeback by me. Now, do we get a flip of tea who picks or? Um, no, I think you won that last hole, so you get to pick still. All right, I'm, I'm going to think of something here. All right, so this is what we're looking at for the last hole. Tig wants to go over the hot tub. We, we have a, a little bit of a trajectory thing here with the tree, the hot tub. You have to kind of slide one in between. This is it. This is what it comes down to. Whew. Gotta go upstairs with this one a little bit. Oh, that's way to 
Oh man. It's actually a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. Cause you gotta worry about your backswing and then you have to worry about the follow through. But Gary can close it out right here. Go, 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 go. No. Yeah. No. That little bit of PVC on the edge saved him. That was awesome. We were tied up on that last hole, HRS, HRS, and I ended up taking the victory. Take finished out, HRSE. I think we're actually gonna end this video here because I wanna do multiple videos of this putting green. I think maybe on Monday, you guys might see a video of us doing a hole in one challenge on the screen because I just think that'd be really fun. If you guys want to see that video, let me know in the comments down below. If you don't, you're like, that's lame. Let me know now so I don't upload it, but I think we're gonna do that. It's, I think it's just gonna be a lot of fun. I mean, I'm having so much fun hitting shots of this. We're probably gonna turn the camera off and hit a lot more shots. So, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to stay tuned for the next one. Until next time, guys. You know how to build a, put a floating putting green. It's easy. Costs like $140. 167 bucks. Quick, easy, and fast.